through your roof. They would come right through this roof. We don't have buildings that could sustain hailstones of that size. The devastation that will take place. The love song has that song, you won't, you wouldn't want to be there. Talking about the war when Russia comes down against Israel and God fights for Israel and destroys this invading army, they sing, they sing I wouldn't want to be there down Jerusalem way uh, when, you know, this happens. Well, I'll tell you what. When these bowls of God's wrath are poured out upon the earth, you can be sure you don't want to be here. And the glorious truth is this. You don't have to be here. You can give your heart and life to Jesus Christ. And in so doing, as Jesus declared, that um, we don't have to be here. That we will be taken before the judgment of God does come upon our earth. We are living in a day so close to the coming of the Lord for his church that I don't think we have much time left. And as Paul said, it's really high time that we awake out of our sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. And if you are not ready, the Bible says that they that were ready went in. And how are we ready? By putting our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And I highly recommend that to you because the word of God has spoken so accurately of things in the future that are now past because we've gone past the time of when they were first prophesied, but they were fulfilled so accurately, so precisely, so exactly that I have not one kind of qualm or question as to whether or not these things are going to happen. I am certain they are because of the certainty of God's word. As God said, I know the end from the beginning. And to prove it, he gave us prophecies that have been fulfilled and you can be sure that these other prophecies that are yet to take place will indeed take place just like God said. I wouldn't want to gamble my life or my future in thinking, well, you know, it just won't happen. You can be sure it will. Father, we thank you for the sure word of prophecy that you've given to us that we should not be taken by surprise, but that we, Lord, will be ready and be prepared for your glorious coming for your church. And that we pray, Lord, even as you told us to, that we will be accounted worthy to escape these things that are going to come on the earth and that we'll be standing before you there in heaven. And so, Lord, we want to be with that crowd in the fifth chapter who are there standing before you as you take the title deed and as you begin the process of cleansing the earth for your return. 
Lord, may we indeed be counted worthy to escape these judgments that we've been reading about that will be culminating here in chapter 16. Help us, Lord, to walk with you in full fellowship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we stand. The pastors are down here at the front to pray for you this evening, whatever your need might be. Maybe the need is to get ready. They'll be happy to pray on that one, but there are other needs. We are in perilous times. The Bible said in the last days, perilous times would come. Uh, there is, we know this economic problem today. Many people have lost their jobs. Many people are uh, going through difficulties in that area. But God is able to take care of his own. And so they'll be glad to pray for you that God will provide work or God will provide for your needs. And we know that he has promised that he would supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So whatever the need might be, bring it to the Lord tonight. He wants to help you. He wants to manifest himself, his power and his love in your life. And so we would just encourage you, give the Lord that opportunity to do so. Uh, Rob, I just want to know, how far were you able to hear the program of coming out of the station today? North of the Kern County line. North of the Kern County line. And how, did you keep it on or did you? Okay. Very good. Well, that's exciting, and uh, we'll soon be able to bring the word of God to the people up in that area. <laughs> Jesus, 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 there's just something about that name, Master, Savior. Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain. Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. Kings and kingdoms shall all pass away. But there's something about that name. God bless you.